Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and I love to do unboxings. I'm a reseller so I do unboxings of mystery rescue boxes from ThreadUp and I keep what I would like and I sell some of it on my eBay channel or on here. So um, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a fun box and a fun box um, is uh, sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's not. <laughs> truthfully uh, but I don't do a lot of them my favorite is the designer box but the fun boxes can have some good items in there too so um, the fun box is basically items that people sent in to thread up that usually are new I, usually they're all new items but they're not um, you know some of them are some are socks bras things like that are always new um, but anyway and then there's other items in there but they're items that thread up could not sell or does not sell they don't sell socks on thread up so people will send in socks and they're like what do we do with these so they make up what they call a fun box and they sell it to anyone you can get you can go get one yourself if you want just go to threadup.com slash rescues and you will see all the rescue boxes available they don't come up very often though so if you get one snap it up while you can anyway um, it's $34 plus tax and shipping and um, you get 10 items so it comes out to about four or five dollars per item and um, sometimes I've gotten ones where I got really nothing in there I liked but I've got also got one where I got a purse that I sold for $90 within a week so you just never know that's kind of part of the fun isn't it really um, it's a really lightweight one that I got today and it's the older style box but that's okay um, it's, uh, let's see, came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. All right, so let's open this thing and see what we get. Oh, I think we got it. Boy, they didn't put much tape on that thing. All right, here is the box. They packed it pretty nicely. They've got the packing stuff on the top there. I'll take this off and show you the, ne the next first look. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I like this! Okay. I'm really glad. I think I got some good stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm gonna pull this out first. I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, it's a crane activity tracker. Fat fitness activity tracker. Um, I don't know that brand. It's probably just some generic brand. It includes a tracker and manual. Activity tracker and manual. I don't know. Um, let's see. Calculates goals, seven day memory. Ah, all right. I've never gotten that in here before, so I'm kind of excited. Um, okay. Next is, oh goodness. Wow. Okay. Next up is this. I have to be honest with you here. I am the absolute least sports team knowing as person you'll ever meet so I don't know what this it's New York I bet I don't know I don't know anything about sports I don't I don't really care much about them I mean I hope you know my team wins but I don't really care much so anyway this hat is brand new it looks like there's no wear on it it's got this logo um this is what it looks like inside and so um, I'll look up comps but that is like that's people like hats you know, I don't like hats or sports teams, but I bet there's people out there that do. So yay for that, right? All right, that was item two. All right, this is item three, a very, very pretty bracelet. I might have to keep this one. I got an, um, I got a bracelet like this from my friends over at Happy Hour, Happy Hour Haulers, Janet and Bryn, and I love it. It's blue and it's got some pink in it. And I'm not wearing it right now, but I do love wearing that bracelet. Okay, this is the bracelet. It's super sparkly. It seems really kind of small. Um, and I don't see any maker marks on it. Uh, but it's it's got... How do you put this? Oh. I don't know. There's two clasps. Oh, there. No, there's... I don't know how this thing goes. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But it's really pretty. I like that. I might have to just keep that one. It's kind of tiny though. Look at how little it is. Uh, maybe it's a kid's one. Okay, well, there we go. That's that's item three. There are some weird things in this box. <laughs> anyway, okay, Forever 21. Uh, these are these are socks. Forever 21 socks. Now I have to say now that I like these. 
Retail price $3.90. So I probably just gonna keep these, but maybe I'll put them in as a gift with purchase as some of my things that I sell. So, but okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. I mean, yeah. Okay, this is cute. Wow. Brand new with tags. UCA lingerie. UCA lingerie. I don't I don't know this brand, but this is a really cute. It's a size 32B. And it's uh lingerie and it's absolutely adorable. It's really, really cute. And it's I think it's snapped at the bottom. It does snap at the bottom. So oh, it's really cute. Um these can be expensive to purchase. I don't know this brand name and there's no price tag on here, so. Uh, yeah, I, probably a good find. You know, obviously, would not be a good find if it was <clears throat> not new with tags, but it is new with tags, so that's good. All right, this is just odd. I, I, I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know. The Haunted Mansion. I don't know. Um, it looks like a C, uh, some kind of a CD case. Is it, is the haunted, oh, what's this? Ooh. Oh, golly, I think this is from Disney World. Oh my gosh, those pins. Those pins are great. Those are, um, I don't know, I kind of like that. That is cool. What are there, what else is in there? Let's see. No, I think it's um, the Haunted Mansion. I think this is a... I don't know, is it, a, is it a place to keep collectibles and such? Anyway, look at those pins. Those are collectible pins. One of them says 25 years. One of them says her castle awaits 2006. I'm going to look up the pins because the pins probably are worth more than this, this haunted mansion thing. So this is kind of like a crossbody holder of some kind that goes around your neck. So I don't know. That, that, that one could be okay though. All right, next up is, <laughs> what? what, what is this? What is this? This thing is so heavy, look at that skull. There's a skull and crossbones, and then there's a very nettle, nettly, metal-like, um, trying to figure out what brand this is. It's a, it's a, anyway, this is a belt. I think it's probably a size, oh, it's stretchy, so it could probably fit. Um, multiple sizes, but anyway, look at up close. This is the belt. So it's got some black and clear rhinestones on there, and they all seem to be there. This looks unused. It does not look like it's been used. I don't see any brand name on it. The back side does have some scratching on, like right here, and like, there's a looks like there's a, like a mark of some kind here. But uh, but anyway, this is the belt. See how it's it stretches. It's, uh, so I'm gonna go this this could probably be size small to extra large I'm gonna guess but I will measure this and put it on the screen um, uh, Skull and crossbone items those kinds of items sell well so um, And usually for pretty good money so that that belt is actually pretty cool I love Halloween I might have to save that as a Halloween costume. We'll see we'll, we'll see about that um, and on that same, it looks like I got quite the black. I think my theme is pretty much black color. Everything that I got has black in it. <laughs> so I think that's the theme. Here are two black headbands. This one has cute rhinestones on it. You know, I don't know about, I think I'm going to have to ask Christina. I was thinking of headbands because she loves headbands and they look so good on her. Um, these two headbands remind me of Christina because she loves headbands. Anyway, she also knows about Disney. So I might be contacting her about this, these pins, these Disney pins. Anyway, two headbands. All right. I haven't been keeping count, so that's okay. I'll count here after we're done. All right. What is this? Oh, okay. Mignon Gavigan. What the heck's that? I don't know. That is a keychain. Ming Mignon Gavigan. Uh, it's cute. There it is. It's got, I don't know if it's real leather. It looks like it is. Pebbled leather. And then this beading here at the top. Can you see the name on, on here? Anyway, no. 
I don't know that name. That sounds kind of French, but I, I, I don't know. I have to look that one up. All right, and last but not least, ooh, I like this one. Ooh. This is a pair of Victoria's Secret fl fluffy kind of sandals. Looks like they're my size, yep. They're size seven, eight. Oh my gosh, but you know what? I don't wear slippers, they're too warm. So these will be available. They're brand new with the tags. The tag's right in the middle here. They're still clasped together. I'm gonna show you the tag, there we go. In the bottom, you can see they haven't been worn. They've still got the plastic on there. So these are fluffy and they have a cute little bow detail. Is that? Let's see, okay, the bow got a little squashed here, but. But anyway, there is the bow detail. If you can, it's kind of hard to see because it's black. But they're fluffy and they're super soft. So very cute. I mean, those actually would be good as a Christmas gift as well. So that is, I'm going to count them now. Item one is that. Number two is the Haunted Mansion bag. Number three is the lingerie, the black lingerie, size 32B. Can't remember if I said that before. That was number three. Number four is uh, the Forever 21 socks. Number five, I'm gonna say five and six, I guess, is are these headbands. And number seven is this bracelet. Number eight is this uh, keychain. Number nine is the skull and crossbones. Um, belt. Number 10 is this New York hat. Some team, I don't know which one. <laughs> Laugh at me if you want to. It's probably laughable. And actually those two headbands must have been counted as one item because there's one more item. So that is the activity tracker. So um, I don't see any, you know, ringers in the box. I don't see any items that are like, oh, they're worth so much. But um, there could be. The, a lot of times I think that and then I go back and research and find out that there are things that are worth a lot of money. So I don't I don't think there are in this box, but anyway, I will likely make my money back. It's it's $34 plus tax and shipping, so I should be able to make my money back from that. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.